In this video review for eSword, we're going to be reviewing an eSword module called the Bullinger Companion Bible Notes, Appendices, and Graphics. Now, this one is really exciting to me that it's available for eSword because I've had two copies of the Companion Bible now. I have a new one. I used to have an old one that kind of wore out on me, and I really like this actual Bible itself. And I actually have a picture of my Bible opened to the passage we're going to look at in our review, which is Matthew chapter 2 and verse 22. And I really only picked this verse because it gives us all of the parts and pieces of the Companion Bible module that I want to draw your attention to. Now, the Companion Bible was created by E.W. Bullinger, and it's basically him with his notes in the Bible. I don't necessarily agree with all of his notes, but I do love some of the things about the Bible. Like, for example, it takes obscure phrases in the King James Version and lets you know what they mean. Sometimes when he lets you know what they mean, it's harder to understand what Bullinger says than what the King James Version says. But that aside, it is a very useful study Bible. I like it because it's mostly just telling you what the meanings of words are, with a few notes here and there. There are also some very heavy appendices in the back of the Companion Bible that give you encyclopedic type information, which is super valuable to have on hand in a single volume book as well. There are also maps and charts. So you can download this module at, of course, biblesupport.com, search for Bullinger, Companion Bible Notes, Appendices, and Graphics. Now there are a couple of different versions of the module out here. Some of them only have the notes. So if you want the one that has the notes, the appendices and graphics, all three parts, make sure you grab this one. And it does work in the newest versions of eSword as we'll see. Before we actually get into eSword, I do wanna show you that the Bollinger Companion Bible is available online. So there are a couple of sources of this. First of all, if you go to companionbiblecondensed.com, you can see in PDF form, the actual Bible here. But what they've done here is they've condensed it. They've kind of brought it together. And what I mean by that is in Matthew 2.22, it says here, but when he heard that Archelaus did reign over Judea, the King James Version says in Judea here, instead of his father, and the King James Version says something different. If we look over here, you'll see it says in the room of his father. And then it says, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being oracularly answered. Now, that's an interesting phrase. In the actual King James Version, it says, being warned of God. <laughs> and so Bollinger's trying to bring out the meaning behind this, saying that it was like Joseph kind of had a question and he wanted it answered, right? And so he was oracularly answered of God in a dream. He departed into the parts of Galilee. And here it says, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. Okay, so where do all of these differences come from? Well, notice there's a note for turned aside, and in the note for this verse, that's what the circle means. If we look over at 22, turned aside, departed. In equals over. In the room of equals instead of. So they've simply taken those notes that we have on the right and incorporated them in the bold italics and so forth right into the text. So that's what this Companion Bible Condensed does. And this is again available directly online if you want to actually use it there. Now let's take a look at eSword and see how the modules work there. So here we are looking at Matthew 2.22 in the King James Version. Now one of the nice things about using eSword with the Companion Bible is all of a sudden the Companion Bible works with ESV which it was not released for, or for that matter, with the NIV or HCSB or any other Bible module you might have installed. So we see it says here in the ESV, but when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in the place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee. So we can see this information. Now, the thing that I like about the Companion Bible module add-on is that it's here in the commentary section. And notice it's also over here in dictionaries. This is where the appendices are. So if you see an appendix over here, like Archelaus, see Appendix 109. When you click it, it takes you into the Herods of the New Testament. And you can scroll down through and see any information that might be provided about that individual. 
Then we have another appendix here. So you see in over the Greek is epi appendix 104. So when we go to that, prepositions are discussed. And you can see he's got an encyclopedic article on prepositions within the New Testament. Very interesting study resources. Also, there are maps and other charts. So notice Galilee, the region north of Samaria, including the plain of Esdraelon and mountains north of it. Appendix 169. Well, when I click it here, I don't get anything. It's empty. Well, here's a little tip for you. When you're using this three-part module set that works together, when you come into an appendix and there's nothing there, go to Tools, Graphics Viewer, choose the actual Companion Bible Appendix Maps, and then simply navigate to the right appendix. And I'm already on 169. And so there it is. You see that it was a map, a poorly scanned map, but there is a map here that is used to locate the regions around or in Galilee. And though it's very, very hard to read this, I can see Nazareth down here kind of pixelated and not real clear. And even if I zoom in, you can see it doesn't help a whole lot, but they are here. And you can see there are others, some are clearer and easier to view and some are not so clear. So you can scroll through and see what kind of images might come from the back of this Bible. And some of them are legible and some are not. That's a weakness of this module to say the least. Now, if you do see an appendix here, you might try going over to the companion Bible on the internet. And so here you can see, for example, that we're looking at Matthew. Here we're looking at Matthew. If we go back to the root of the companion Bible website, go to appendixes. And then if we scroll through, we can choose appendix 169, Galilee, and you can see that this one is also a bit painful. And really, you're dealing with old diagrams created long, long ago. So that is one of the pains of working with an old book that's still being published today like this. And there's only one other thing I want to point out. And that is that I'd like you to notice in the image of my Bible that I've provided here in the video, that for verse 22, there are two spots where you see the number 12, and then one where you see the number 11. So it says 12 warned of God, 12 in a dream, 11 into the parts of. Well, what that's saying is there's a note related to that phrase back in verse 12. So if I go back to verse 12, I could read verse 12 and see that it says, and being warned of God in a dream. Therefore, there's a note on verse 12 that applies to this. And there in verse 12 is where warned of God is said to mean oracularly answered. And of course, uh, in a dream is simply saying that there's Greek text behind the word dream there. So the point is that we're missing that in these modules. Now you can see it in the PDFs. So if we go back over to the PDF here, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And then if we scroll back to verse 12, you can see right here, being warned of God. There's the circle telling you that there's a note on the phrase warned of God. So if we go to the note for verse 12, we see right here, warned of God equals oracularly answered, implying a preceding question. And so we can actually see that that is one of the notes. Then we see in is the Greek kata, and there's an appendix on this, 104. A dream, the Greek amar, and see note on Matthew 1 and 20. So we can keep looping back through notes. So now if we go back to Matthew 1 and verse 20, we can see that it says, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. Okay, so there's a note on 20, there's the circle. He thought or pondered or contemplated his steps, these things. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared. Up oh, there it is, a dream. Greek, Amar. Occurs only in Matthew, only six dreams mentioned in the New Testament, to Joseph, to the wise men, and to Pilate's wife. And so we can see that there are six dreams mentioned in the New Testament. They're all in Matthew, so Matthew definitely thought that the issue of these dreams were important for you to understand. So, interesting stuff there. So those are some weaknesses within the eSword module. It's not going to link you back necessarily to all of the notes like you might want to see that. If we do go back 
to 2 and verse 12, you can see now that there is the note here, C note on Matthew 120 for a dream. But in Matthew 222, because we don't have the companion Bible as our Bible text, we don't get the superscript notes that would tell us that there is something in verse 12 related to this passage. That would be a wonderful thing. If someone wanted to create an actual Bible module that had those extra notes in it, that would be fabulous. I've now restarted eSword after I installed another module. So here we see the module EW Bullinger Companion Bible. And when we look at this module, if you download this one, let me back up to the place where you can see it here. E.W. Bollinger Companion Bible 1909. This is that condensed version. So when we go back to Esword, notice, but when he heard that Archelaus did reign over, not in Judea, instead of his father, instead of, we see here, in the room of his father, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being oracularly answered of God in a dream, he departed into the parts of Galilee. So we see that this now has that language that we saw in one of the online PDF versions. And for now, that's what we have as far as a companion Bible, but at least we have that so that you can see the integrated notes that are here in the verse. If you're just reading through a chapter, you might notice those loop backs to earlier verses, but other than that, you're going to miss a lot if you don't have the actual Bible itself to see those loop back notes. It'd be nice if someone updated the module to include that embedded in it, which of course could be done by simply modifying the text, but I say simply, it would actually be quite a lot of work. So this has been a review of the companion Bible notes, appendices, and maps and graphics and so forth that is available at biblesupport.com. I have found this useful within eSword because I'm familiar with it. I've used the Bible a lot in my study as a printed book, so I find it to be very, very useful. Once again, as a disclaimer, I don't agree with every interpretation and understanding of E.W. Bullinger, and I don't think anybody agrees with anybody else on every interpretation and understanding, but it is really good linked information, a lot of Greek notes along the way and so forth, which I think you'll find very helpful. Thank you very much for viewing, and I'll see you next time here on the eSword Training Channel.